Hey, yup. I'm back. A bit delayed because of a couple of reasons, but um, I'll cover those. One of them is going to be covered on the sister channel, so that's where all the transition stuff's going to go in. Now, Sheffield, that's going to go over there. Uh, this bit is now going to be covering more, a uh, few other little bits and pieces in life and work and sport. So like football, rugby. I'm not at the moment. I'm not going to be bringing back like the scrum news stuff for a little while until I know what's actually going on because there's a few things going on in life. But first of all, I will get the little bit out of the way. And so good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever the fluff you are. So, straight into it. One of the reasons why everything's been a bit delayed is because I've been feeling absolute shart because I had appendicitis. That kicked my ass for a while and so did the medication that I was given. I've gotten away with surgery, so without surgery so far, uh, but there is chances within the next few weeks months years that eventually is going to come back and kick my ass again and i will have to have that thing taken out i was in hospital for about 24 hours could have had surgery done pretty much pretty quickly but because i'd eaten i uh, had to skip that sorry i'm just playing the notifications off my other phone uh so i had to kind of like you know forego that and wait until i could do that they reassessed me and they couldn't get me in for surgery anyway because the theatre was taken up with emergency cases. So I had to do an overnight stay and then the following day that they gave me an assessment and they just went, well, you can sit there cross-legged, you're not in pain, uh, you're reading a book, you're totally able to, you know, go to the toilet, all that lot. So you're fine there, but just be very careful. I was given some quite heavy medications which are still affecting my stomach right now. So uh, everything isn't exactly happy that way. But hey, there's that. Uh, another thing, I'm going to be searching for a job now. Because, to be honest, sitting around doing pretty much naff all, even though I still will always have this hearing problem, uh, I'm going to have to get a job. I can't stay on unemployment benefit for too much longer because I'm already do it's already doing my head in. There's only so many times that you can play the same game, there's only so many times that you can read the same book and watch the same movies. So yeah. There is that. So there will be more money hopefully once I do gain employment there will be more money for me to go watch football again. Go watch rugby because at the moment I've had to pull everything in and rein everything in pretty damn tight. Because of the amount that they give you doesn't work a lot. And also the cell phone that I'm recording you on. The bill for this thing is pretty damn high. I took that while I was at my previous job. I did have a bit of a benefit on that. Because I did uh, get it a bit cheaper. Uh, along with the old internet. I had that one on what I could get away with. So that's all going to get sorted. At some point early part of this year. So eventually you will be on, probably on a new cell phone. Or I still might record you on my trusty old one which went to Alton Towers with me the first time and I thought I would have killed this. But I didn't. But hey. This big old slab doesn't have a problem with it apart from a bit of screen burn. That one that you're on, the back glass is smashed. But hey, that's what you get. <sighs> And yeah, the background. At some point this year, I will be either moving out on my own or moving house with mum. Since I still, you know, live in Wigan. Trying to be able to find somewhere in Wigan. And trying to find myself a little place as well. So I'm looking at places. I'm I want to try and stay in Wigan, at least close to the close ish to the stadium better for jobs i don't really want to go back into charlie because it was a struggle finding a job out there i know there is more businesses and stuff opening up over there now and i might be able to get a job over there but to be honest i'd rather stay here than go there I've, i lived in charlie since i was born so i'd rather try to make a good start of it elsewhere and do all of this lot 
A uh, few little bits and pieces as well as a few um, stuff from Sheffield. Yeah, I've been cleared for to start the HRT, which will be happening in what two, three, four weeks time. So that's a go. Getting that bit away. Uh, going back into the sports stuff. Whenever I do finally manage to find a way of getting um, into back into the stadium and stuff, especially um, money wise, I will be doing vlogs on that. Don't you worry about that. Uh, the uh, up the ticks whenever I get a chance to go in that will continue along with bleeding cherry and white that will continue uh, with that um, I know it might be a little bit um, delayed or belated not really belated but you know um, the news that Bevan French's mother passed away new French was over there anyway uh, especially because of his uh, rehab and everything, wanted to stay over there and because his mum was already uh, in poor health anyway. Uh, so, sorry mate, sorry dude. If you do watch any of these or if anyone does pass these along, take your time mate, take your time, don't rush. Don't rush. We survived the season last year <laughs> without you around. Um, we can survive a few games without you. Need you back mentally strong and physically strong. Don't worry about it. You know everyone at the club will support you. Up on that. Roll on to whatever's going on with the ticks. It seems more like the um, uh, news for all of the mess with the ticks is uh, constantly rolling along. There's always fans of other teams complaining that we're buying the league. I don't exactly think two or three hundred K for a player is buying the league when you've got teams who can steamroll us with money. Just because we're linked with a couple of players, just because the ticks linked with a couple of players doesn't mean that we need them buying the league. Come on. It's not Newcastle money. It's not Man City money. Don't be stupid. Seriously, man. But whatever. And everything that's going on with Derby as well. We were in the same situation. Derby are now in the situation. If a deal comes along for a decent player and that player gets given a decent contract and they see the vision of what a club wants, they're going to go for it. You have the uncertainty of knowing whether the buyers for the current club is going to actually happen. The uncertainty of whether they're actually going to be able to keep a wage, be able to keep a job in that situation. Clubs go under now. It's wrong, they shouldn't be going under. Man, the, whoever owns them should be held responsible and should be able to keep the finances in order. But multiple clubs have gone under. Multiple things have happened. Shit's going to happen. I'm just going to have to deal with it. It's unfair now that Derby are having to be ripped apart like that. Wigan were ripped apart. Survived. You know, we've got, a decent, we've got an owner who actually wants to do something with the club and actually believes in the system and is putting things in place to do it. You know, we will see. We will see. Whether... Wigan can get back into the Prem. Back to that promised land that was there for the early part of the years. You know, not just being the little club that can. Not just being there to make up the numbers, but actually giving a good old scrap of it. Giving it the to everyone else. Getting up the nose of City supporters again. You know, blocking Arsenal. Turning over United at the moment doesn't seem like, you know, that seems like it's pretty easy at the moment. Turn over Man United, you know, annoying Liverpool. <laughs> Getting up the nose of other peeps, you know, going down to Chelsea and really singing them off. Making them look the fool. Those are the dream days that you want. Cup finals, whatever's, you know. Doing that is amazing, but you need the support behind and you need the owners to put the money in. 
it looks like the owners that we've got now can put the money in and can support it. Me personally, I'd be happy for a you know upper mid table championship run for a couple of seasons. Get some stability in, get some crackers in there, get some decent players going. You know, tell her Asgard. Jesus, that was a screamer. I missed that game. I really wanted to go to that game and I missed it because appendicitis. And the money. I really wanted to go to that game. That was one hell of a game against Blackburn. But, you know, what a way to win it. It was a screamer from that. Just... As they said a few years ago, nice bit of swaz on that. But... You know, it's going to happen. And for those people out there that are complaining that, you know, there's only, what, seven, eight, nine thousand turning up. And the club's alive. The club's alive. I know I've ranted and raved before in some of my other videos to tell people to get their, get their ass in there and go watch it. But to be honest, if it's pissing it down, on a Tuesday or Wednesday night and you've got to get up early the next day are you really going to sit there on a plastic seat and get piss wet through or are you really going to go to the ends of the earth because you're going to get up, you're going to have to get up early in the morning so you're going to prioritise I prioritised it some of the late games that I did for the rugby I kind of regretted when I got home because I was freezing freaking cold and I knew I had to get up the next day and yeah, I did regret having that beer because it did make me a little bit... But whatever. That's that. We've all done it. But, you know, the team's doing well. At least we can actually do that. The problem now that we've got is the amount of games that we've still got to cover over. Because we've got, what, four or five games in hand? It's going to be a run. It's going to be one hell of a run. Not so sure on the squad depth. I don't know because I haven't really looked at everything because I know a little bit of the loop. But, you know, with all of that, the squad depth it looks more like getting the players in, getting the players in, getting the players in. So squad depth is there. There might be one or two players that are still a little bit on the fringes and may be a little bit injured. Maybe. I'm not 100% or might not be 100% because of the amount of games that they're going to have to be covering over. But if it works, it works. But, you know... I think we're second place now after last night's game. Coming back from 1 0 down for a 2 1 win. You know, the players that are there are already brilliant players. Just need the rest of it to just come together and do that. Maybe getting out of League One is a major goal right now. And getting into the Championship and then basically getting. I know some people hate that one, but mid-table mediocrity. Maybe a bit of mid-table mid mediocrity would be good right now. Nice bit of stabilisation, find a decent level, build on what you've got. And then maybe three, four years down the line, then have that charge where we just lift it up and we nail it on for a promotion into the Prem. You never know. Now, slightly that away, moving on to the Warriors side of things. The season hasn't started yet, so I don't know what the form is and everything. I know I've covered a little bit with Bev, but, um, you know, we will, I will endeavour to go to games when I can. Money and health and stuff, you know, all of that. So I'll see what I can do with those. I will try to get to some games. I cannot promise that I can do the early season games unless I manage to uh, secure a job snappy because I know the season does kick off pretty damn quickly. does look like uh, the signings that have come over uh, from down on the are quite impressed with the place and are making quite an effort to want him. So we will see. I know there's a pre-season game um, coming up, I think, this weekend. Up against Newcastle, I think so. I'm not 100% on the dates because I am just doing this right off the cuff. So yeah, obviously there is that. Uh, 
with everything else that's going on, I know there's still quite a lot of swirl going on about whatever's you know picking up and stuff like that because of the rent the rent agreement with ticks and all that lot that's gone silent so i think that's been sorted to be honest as far as i know i think that's either been sorted or they're just keeping it out of the press for whatever decision they've made uh you know still the stuff because yes we do share the ground with football so it is a football and rugby ground it is a you know, multi capacity or multi-use stadium obviously so it is going to be there uh yes most of the signage and everything is obviously going to look more football a lot of the posters in there are going to be football because that is the uh, prime use for that place is football or soccer depending on which angle of it you're coming from so yeah there is going to be that my last time in there it was did feel a bit numb still the atmosphere but that was a football atmosphere but it wasn't it was a, a flip-flop game so it wasn't all that uh, all that mad but the noise levels in there for those people who are still complaining or having a bit of a bit of a bitch about the possibility of the seat the red seats disappearing whatever just let it go it's just a seat doesn't matter if it's rainbow coloured, whether it's pink, white, red, blue, green, black, whatever. It's just a piece of plastic that you sit your ass on. There's teams who play in a stadium that isn't the primary colour. You know? There's teams that have multiple colours all around. and You know, they have a fiesta of colour. It doesn't matter what colour the damn seats are. You go in there, you pay your money, you sit your ass down, you watch. So it should be no problem there. You know, does it really matter about the seat colours? I thought this was long gone, but some people still seem to pipe up about it. and have a bit of a snip. To be honest, I couldn't care less what the seat colours are. As long as the product on the field is good and enjoyable then it doesn't really matter. You know, it's just another stadium. It's just another place you play. You know, does it really matter? Yeah, obviously. I like purple. So I'm going to say the seats could be freaking purple. Blend the two colours together, blue and red. Make some purp. There you go. Doesn't really matter. all I'm going to say about that. Oh yeah, 150 years of the club this year. What a club. As far as I'm aware, if not the most successful sporting brand on the rugby side. Maybe there is a union club out there that can upset it, but Jesus, growing up. All it was was Wigan, 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 Wigan. Constantly. All over the news. So yeah, I was born in the end of the 80s. So, you know, I've lived the end of the Cold War. The end of the Soviet Union. I've lived through that bit. And all of the stuff that I can remember was just Warriors winning this, Warriors winning that, Warriors doing this, Warriors winning that. Just constant on the trot. Just smashing it all out. Saints are having a go at it right now, trying to see if they can do a bit of that history. They did the three-peat. They're going for a fourth. Can someone pop them in the mouth and make it so that they can't? You know, I'm not a Saints fan, but Jesus, to be able to come through the, those two seasons and be able to actually hobble it like that. All right, yeah, the grand final the other year was a bit of a, you know, it was a hot potato. The ball shuffled and bounced and then it got in, you know, it sneaked in and they were the quicker to react. And that's, that could have been us, it could have been our way. Doesn't matter, it could have been any other bloody way. Doesn't matter about that. You make your own history. You've got a new coach, new everything. New ideas. Maybe some of these new ideas will work, maybe some of these new ideas won't. We don't know. All it needs is just the heart, the spirit, the passion. And put it out there. 
you know, we were there or thereabouts. It wasn't the dower of everything. We weren't going to get relegated, so that didn't really matter. For all of, the, all of the bitching and the whining, yeah, all right, I complained and I did kick off. I did say that there was some shit going on behind the scenes. There probably was. But when he, you have a coach that looked and sounded like he didn't give a flying fuck, and then you've got players that shoulders are slumped, and it looks like they don't want in. That's where the problem was. There was just something there. There was a bit of something that just didn't quite fit. Didn't feel right. So we've now got what we've got. Just have to get off to a good start. I'm not expecting wins up the wazoo. Just a good grind it out, push it in there, get it done. Get her done kind of job. You know? As long as, as long as there's some passion out there, as long as there's some want and some spirit. If it's a loss by, you know, if it's just, just a loss by a point or two, if it's a loss by a conversion, if it's a loss by, you know, a slot, not a sloppy try, but, you know, just a loss by a spirited attempt. I'll take that. Wins would be fucking brilliant. But sometimes you have to take it. And you have to take those losses. So, you know, we will see. We will see if this new idea and this new ethos that looks like it's coming out of the camp is going to work. And we will see if this all works and how it works and how it flows. Now, if you want to catch up with anything, because obviously um, this is going to be a double-sided one. So, if you do want to catch up with any of the other story that's coming out of the Sheffield side of everything, you will need to look over for the Vixen Warrior, which I will put the link down below. That is the sister channel to here. I am running a two-channel service at the moment. I'm attempting to run a two-channel service. Just because I need to try to see what works, see what fits. Because this side has always been the more vlogtastic side of it. So this is always going to be the sport and everything. But things may move over the other way eventually. So you never know. You may just get one circular link that just says, go over here, go over here, go over here. And I might just do that on a run. Or every video I might just go, if you want to check up on the latest news on this, blah, 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 blah look over to here. So, you will find out. Anyway, this has been me. I almost did it then. This has been me. Get Fox 3087 signing out. Peace!